Neanderthal women very likely did hunt. Some were much such as tortoise, rabbits and birds. And probably accompanied by babies and children. Yet the identity of big game hunters probably shifted according to climate, season, landscape, and other factors. Some 123,000 years ago, Neanderthal women of the forest marshes dragged beavers from their lodges, while their descendants 70 millennia and 3,000 generations later stalked red deer through wooded uplands. One of the most convincing reasons to believe that Neanderthal women did experience life differently is the testimony of their own bodies were much more masculinized robustly built than the modern human females. Research on limb bones suggests that while their thighs were as strong relatively as men's. However, the impression is of different habits in moving around, with men perhaps scaling more rough terrain. Neanderthals had diverse looks like modern humans. Research confirms that 20% of the Neanderthal genome can be found in modern humans. Hence, there is a problem with forming a mental picture of how Neanderthals looked in general from a single fossil reconstruction. Researchers succeeded reconstructing from bony remains how a flesh and blood version of the person would have looked like. Nevertheless, some average differences can be noted between Neanderthals and motor humans. One major difference between the Neanderthals women and women of today involves the amount of bone deposited in the face. Neanderthals upper jaw bones continued growing forwards for years after they were born. Explaining the distinctive protruding face shape of this extinct human species. Unlike modern humans, whose faces remain flat as they grow. Neanderthals had cells in their upper jaw bones that continued producing bone tissue throughout their teenage years. Because other ancient humans and early relatives like the Australopithecines had a similarly protruding face. Our flatter faces are unique among human species and may have emerged only very recently. Their front teeth were large and scratch marks show they were regularly used like a third hand when preparing food and other materials. Unlike modern humans, Neanderthals didn't have much of a chin. In comparison with the Neanderthal women, the Neanderthals females height averages between 152 to 156 centimeters. This height is indeed 12 to 14 centimeters lower than the height of post-World War II European women. The biggest difference between Neanderthals women and modern human women is their metabolism. New body weight estimates show that they are only slightly above the body mass index of modern Americans or Canadians. Most modern humans women can get by just fine on 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day. An average female Neanderthal probably required more than twice that. In 2008, National Geographic stated the caloric requirements of an average Neanderthal woman would be 4,034 calories per day. It is quite likely that the Neanderthals women had as many hair colors as modern Europeans from blonde through to dark. Perhaps depending on exactly where in Europe they lived. Physical features inherited from Neanderthal by Europeans and Middle Easterners include prominent eyebrows, big eyes, strong jaws and wide shoulders. 70% of East Asians also inherited mutations in the PU2F3 gene, which is involved in keratin production and may be responsible for straightening hair. According to anthropologists, the current level of hair color diversity in Europe would have taken 850,000 years to develop. While Homo sapiens has been in Europe no longer than 45,000 years. This is evidence enough that genes for fair hair were inherited from interbreeding with Neanderthals.